So I hit the self-esteem treadmill, did a couple of you beautiful push-ups, did a couple of jumping, dance girl, you looking thick, jacks, <clears throat> and I got myself together. And I came back the laughing jack and forgot his name, the toy maker. Yeah, Jason, the toy maker. God. I'm going to let y'all know, I am not old and ugly. I am 25 and looking good. I am not old and ugly. You hear that, Jason? Voya insists insist to be your toy. Ugh. Sorry, y'all. I've been having like a rough day. I've been taking medicine. I needed my voice back for this one. Because I wanted to yell that. That's not what I... I see... Maybe we should give you another chance. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have said I wasn't. Uh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? This is, this is what this is. Although you're not going to be as pretty as the other dolls. Love flow. So I gotta call myself ugly. I'm gonna have to hit the treadmill again. But gotta hit the self esteem treadmill again. You're right. I'm old and ugly as hell. <sighs> like the gross cauliflower. I know you guys called out last game. Let me let me stop right here at the cauliflower part. You guys called last game. I said potato and it said tomato. I knew that I left it in because mistakes were made and mistakes are okay that's that's a life lesson right there for y'all it's okay to make a mistake now where was I at like a gross cauliflower rotten in the back of a of your fridge I feel like he has like a laugh after everything I got it oh my god for over a year You are right, dear. You are not the toy I was promised to us. How sad. Oh, how sad? A tragedy. Feel free to go. We have no use for you. They both stepped aside. As soon as you leave this room, you'll be outside. Be careful. Thank you. Goodbye. <sighs> well, now that my self-esteem then got uh, wrongful stomped, uh, let me go ahead and uh, juke for Jesus and run. Finally, I'm out of that horrible house. A shiver. It's even colder outside. Now I have no idea where to go. I look around in the darkness. Suddenly I hear howling sounds from the distance. Please be an animal, but not a wolf. Ouch, I popped my finger, that hurt. But not a wolf, be a tiny fox or something like that, or an owl. Just please don't kill me. I think I can see a path better than nothing. I start walking away from the house. It's very hard to see where I'm going. I wish I had a flashlight or something. Oh well. I continue walking through the forest. The house slowly begins to disappear behind the trees as I walk further and further. I walk fast and try to be as silent as possible. There could be another maniac hiding behind the tree. Just as I finish that thought, I hear quiet footsteps. This is where, um, Eyeless Jack, is that his name? I jump and turn around to see who is trying to, you know what I should have done? Hold on, you guys. I'm gonna have to cut this out real quick.
All right. Okay. So I went back and I got the phone and I did everything the exact same. Nothing changed. Okay. Finally, I'm out of that horrible house. Sorry. I don't know if you guys can hear me. If you guys can hear me, I do apologize. I'm losing my voice and I'm sick. I shiver. It's even colder outside. I think we went through all this. Suddenly I hear howling. Uh, like an animal. Yeah. So we went through all this. I'm sorry if I'm skipping this. If you haven't seen this before, go back to my channel and watch the other ones. Oh well. Uh, walk fast. Try to be as silent as possible. A woman come out. Yeah. So I'm going to tell Jane where Jeff the killer is in this one. So I'm going to skip it to the part where she asks me about him. Because I'm sure, again, if you haven't seen this, then you need to go back and freaking watch the other video before you watch this one. Um, I'm going to help Jane. I have met Jeff. Jeff, uh, Jane looked at me surprised and with a slight shock. You really have? Where is he? I need to know. He's in the house with the other people that I met. You need to walk into the direction I came from. Thank you so much. Jane gives me a quick hug. I step back surprised. This really seems to be important to her. I'm serious. Thank you with all my heart. If I die right here, I'll be mad. It's okay. How can I ever repay you? You really don't have to. Oh yes, I have. I know what I'll do. Jane reaches for her necklace and gives it to me. Take good care of it. It may turn out to be life-saving. I can't take this. You can. I won't need it anymore. Are you sure? Yes. Now I have to say goodbye. What's your name, by the way? Boya. Goodbye, Boya. Goodbye, Jane Everlasting. Okay. Love flow. Thank you for not killing me right there. I do appreciate it. She disappears into the direction I came from, leaving me behind alone. I really hope I did the right thing telling her the truth. She looks so hopeful, but I had to betray Jeff, even though I, he helped me. Drowning in thoughts, I do, <coughs> I do not move for several minutes until I realize that I should continue walking. As the little bit of sky I see between the trees get lighter, or is it getting darker? Okay, we, we said all this. Uh, let's run away. I know what happens when I run away, but I just want to know if, it, if it's going to continue to happen or would the phone change anything? Of course the phone don't change nothing. Now that I have finally got myself up and uh well I oh my god I need to change the button now I finally got myself up and at them and finishing this I'm gonna go ahead and get past it and stand still I smell we, uh, we if again if you have not seen this stuff uh, um I'm just slowly going through it right now because I'm trying to see if something's different not a single time someone's trying to rescue me it appears maybe I should check the phone for a reception now okay okay this is different I activate the screen and look at the symbols on the upper edge yes finally I got far enough to get some connection to a network immediately the phone vibrates seems like I got a message the vibration doesn't stop or a call but nothing is showing on display. Oh, come on. Now the phone starts to play a weird song. What the hell? The screen turns bright blue and all of a sudden the phone gets burning hot. Ouch! I let go of the phone and it falls to the ground. 
I hear the screen crack and water starts dripping out of it, forming a puddle. How is this possible? I would have been gone. My feet would have been moving faster than Mr. Crab's feet. Don't play with me. Like, I would be gone. Suddenly, a hand breaks through and water surface and a blonde haired. Wait. Hair head follows. Wait, wait. What? L Link? A young man is crawling out of the water towards me. He's a unnaturally fast. Finally. That, that took way too long. He grabs my foot and I scream in fear. You shouldn't have done that. What the? What? I'm so confused. Huh? Alright, so I got back to where I was. Not dead no more. Quickly I start walking towards start walking towards again yet uh, trying to leave this thing behind me I feel like I've been walking for ages suddenly I hear footsteps behind me I turn around shaking in fear but holding the knife my knife in front of me Jeff is running towards me looks furious what have you done I you told her I was here he must be talking about Jane. Is this how you thank me for sparing your life? Tears of fear blurred my sight. Jeff glares at me fear. <laughs> yes. Honestly, I'd be terrified. Like I would have took off I'm probably to um well, mm, I probably wouldn't have ran. I probably would have attacked him. He seems like he's about to maul me to death. Oh god, what have I done? I'm sorry don't say you're sorry you weren't sorry when you revealed to Jane where I was <coughs> that I was here too sorry Jeff burned eyes stared at me without blinking I can see the madness in them I'm so scared how can I convince him to spare me back for my life tell him you had a plan blood flow I swear <laughs> okay so I'm gonna tell him I got a plan look look we gonna what we gonna do is we gonna go around I'm thinking of one off the top of my head what I would say so we're gonna go around and we're gonna hide behind those trees over there and we're gonna wait for Jane to run out and then we gonna we both got knives so we can dice her to death I I did it on purpose what I tricked Jane and led her to you because I know you would defeat her. You did? What? I know you are a better fighter than her and I thought you would do... <laughs> I'm sorry, this doesn't even sound like me, but... <laughs> I thought... I, I thought I would do you a favor by sending her to you so you can get rid of her. That's damn clever, child. I would never have expected something smart from someone as simple as you. Simple? I mean, I'm not the bird that's crayon in the drawer. I'm not stupid! You are right. I am the better killer. I'm the best killer the world has ever seen. Even someone like you would have realized that I could defeat Jane with ease. Yeah, I'm going and go find her and kill her now. So it seems like you actually did me a favor. Yep, that was my plan. So we are even now. Yes. Careful child. Next time we meet, I will not be as nice as today. Go on now and I will watch out. I hope I will never meet him again. Jeff nods and turns away, disappearing into the darkness. So, so far everything's still the same. What the hell just happened? I decided not to overthink it. I have to reach the end of the forest soon. I've been walking for an eternity. So, it's like kind of new kind of old type of things happening as I continue walking I feel my legs starting to hurt suddenly I see blue glimmer 
from under my shirt? What? Huh? I pulled the necklace Jane has given me out. A dark blue stone in the middle of the golden pendant is giving is giving up a, a shimmering light. Giving off a shimmering light. Might have been a mistake right there. How strange. Is this what she meant when she told me that the necklace could save my life? This could be a warning. What should I do? Ah, uh, ha ha. Bluff on me, you gonna have a, a nice talk. I immediately turn around and walk into a different direction. The stone in the pendant stops glowing. Phew. Seems like I did the right thing. I don't want to know what would have happened if I kept walking that path. The forest is getting darker and darker the further I get, but I don't stop. No one is following me anymore. After what seems to be hours, I reach the end of the forest <laughs> just as the sun rises. I found my way back home. All the horrors I had to go through. All the tests I had to pass. I did it. I'm safe. The daylight was so beautiful. And the nightmares are finally over. I got the good ending. Yay. Okay, you guys. I probably... I probably won't play anything anymore because I feel like I got every ending and if not most of them were deaf so you know <laughs> anyways thank you guys for watching thank you guys for rocking with me the whole entire time I truly 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 appreciate it give this video a thumbs up and like share with your friends and all that goody stuff come on let, let's make the family grow and get as big as possible so we can spread love and positivity enjoy to as many people as we can and brighten up this world a little bit more i will see all you lovely people in the next video bye and buffalo listen you and i we're gonna talk